a servo is yo-yoing. Okay, we're back with another video. So, continuing on from my last video, showing how to do the LED blinking light. Next thing, we're going to add a component. It's a servo. So, um, what? What are they? I don't know how to describe it. It's a motor, and it's got a set position for the, this arm thingy. Um, and you can either go fully left, you can go like all the way 180 degrees fully right. Um, so, yeah, anyway, you can control this using pulse width modulation. So, what you're doing is you send a pulse to uh, this um, server and it will change its arm position based on the width of that pulse. Okay, um, so for example, I um, can't remember which is which, but for example it's in this full left position. Actually it might be right for you on the screen, I don't know. What is that? Right, it's full right position, for example with a 1 millisecond pulse, with a 20, se 20, second, uh, 20 millisecond period, you'll be on a full right position. So if you, and then if you go two, two uh, millisecond pulse with a 20 millisecond period, it's going to go full left. And for, and it depends on the server, but in the middle it will be halfway between 1.5 milliseconds. Okay, so depending on what you put there, it will go either full right or full left. Um, yeah, and the PSOC can control that. So we're just going to do that now. So this is continuing on from my last project, so if you don't know how to set up the PSOC, I recommend you go watch my last video. But if you're you comfortable with PSOC, then let's just get straight into this. Okay, so got the servo, you can get this pretty cheap online or at JCAR or wherever. Got your PSOC, um, now you're going to need some cables, I'm using DuPont cables, and yeah. So, I want to color code this, so, yeah. Now, servo, always look at the data sheet. I'm not looking at it because I already know. Brown, red, orange. You see those three cables? Um, ground, 5 volts, and uh, your PWM signal. Okay, nice and easy. So, I'm going to color code this. Black is ground, red is 5 volts and yellow is the PWM. So just plug it in like that, and I'm going to plug it into the PSOC, okay? So just look on your PSOC, you're going to find... Uh, where am I going to go? I'm going to plug it in over here. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Over here, you got a... Um, you got a VDD, ground, and 1.7. I'm going to use those three. So yeah. Um, so the red one goes to VDD, black to ground, and PWM to 1.7. Okay, so plugged in like so. Okay, nice and neat. Remember to color code your wires, especially for bigger projects, it's going to get confusing. Okay, so we'll plug in our PSOC and we'll go back to PSOC Creator. Um, so what you're going to need to do... Um, okay, I've got my code from my last uh, last project. So go to Top Design, we'll leave the LED over there. What we're going to need is a PWM. Okay, here we go. And of course, how often that is that going to run? We're going to need a clock with that. Okay, I'm doing this off the top of my head, I might make a mistake, but yeah, anyway. One megahertz clock, because I want it to pulse every millisecond. W for wire, connect up the clock. There we go. Okay, now we're going to have a pin, output pin, which we're going to output to pin 1.7, okay. Okay, there are two PWMs, I only want one. Okay, firstly I'll rename this to just PWM. Um, one output. Period. Um, how do I do this? 20... No, we want 16-bit. 16 16-bit 16 is better. 
There we go, 20 millisecond. Okay. Uh, 8 bit just has a limit, so just uh, to the resolution. So the, you can do a lower resolution, I guess that will save you a bit of power, but I prefer higher resolution where you can, yeah. Anyway, so our first compare value is that. Is that 1 millisecond? Yeah, I think 1000 is 1 millisecond, I believe. Okay, we're gonna start at 1000 milliseconds, so um, that's gonna be a full left or full right, I don't know which one, we'll see. So press OK. If you want to know more, you can either double click and go data sheet, or right click and go open data sheet. So yeah, just quickly show you. Um, go to APIs, PWM start, don't forget to start it, I always well, I don't always, but I sometimes forget, and then I wonder why it's not working. Um, you need to start it. And what else is needed? Um, PWM write compare. So for the server, we need to change it between um, uh, one millisecond and two millisecond. So in our case, it will be between. Oops, between 1000 and 2000, okay? That's based on your clock. So if you have um, a slower clock, I guess you can also do it like a one, um, one kilohertz clock, but then your resolution's not great. And you can't go halfway between, like you can't go left, middle, and right. You can just go left and right with that. Um, I'm gonna connect the pin up to PWM. I'm going to call this PWM to servo. Ah, that's a bit long. That doesn't matter. PWM to servo. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, name them properly. Um, clocks automatically start in PSOX. So you don't have to start it. Gonna save that. Go assign our pins, I'm going to go 1.7 because that's what I've plugged it into on here. So pin 1.7 over here. Um, save that. Then we're going to build this design. That's going to take a while. We can start anyway. So initialization code here. Delete that. Make it neat. We're going to go what's it called, pwm start so here is where we start our pwm and I'm gonna change the um, compare value from 100, well, I mean 1 millisecond to 2 milliseconds to show you the difference every 1 second okay so pwm right Compare one thousand. Okay, how should I do this? Actually, let's do a compare that variable. So compare variable equals one thousand. I'm gonna do this really in a really simple way. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna set it between um, to uh, basically the server will do this every one second. Yeah. So I'm gonna make it do a simple if statement. If compare variable equals one thousand. I like to have curly brackets even though I'm not I'm only doing one line of code. Okay, is that cool? Do you understand that? And yeah, okay, this is a very um, simple code. This is off the top of my head, it's the middle of the night, forgive me. Um, anyway, so what this will do is you're gonna change your compare value. So if it's 1000 to begin with, I'm going to change it to 2000, okay? So that's changing from 1 millisecond pulse to 2 millisecond pulse. 
Actually, that's not going to work. It's going to change it straight back. So I'm going to do else. Okay, cool. All right, compare. Then you write that compare value to the PWM. So what this is doing here is it's putting that number into the PWM. Here, this compare value, okay? And that's going to change the width of it. So yeah, I'm not going to do that there, but all right, let's Okay, check this out. I'm gonna power this. Okay, how do I hold this? All right, there we go. Gonna program it now and watch this. Okay, that's only going. It's not going the full way. So I think it needs a bit more time. So I'm gonna change it to do it every, let's say, three seconds. Oops. Okay, my USB cable is not very good. Okay, programming now. Get done. So basically, every servo will move to different positions, I guess. Um, it's not very set, so. Maybe I'll change the compare value to say 2700, I don't know. Let's see where it goes. You basically want to play around with the numbers until you get a good position. So if you have a robot arm, you're going to have to like know where it's going to go, right? So you see that's going f the full 180 degrees now, almost. So you can see that's almost flat. So 2700 was this way and um, 1000 was this way so I want it to go a little bit more so I guess I need to make it a bit smaller so I'm going to make it 900 oops not 9000 900 so you play around, you calibrate it and yeah hey see that's that's pretty flat now. That's not quiet, so I'm going to go to 2750. Okay, so there we go. And you can do any value in between, okay? So I'm going to... You can um, assume that 900 is this way, 2700, uh, 2750 is this way, and so it's linear in between. So if you want to go halfway, you just find halfway between 2750 and 900. I, um, I don't even know what that is right now. It's too late in the night. It's, I don't know, let's just do 1500. Is that halfway? No idea. Anyway, so you can. I'll just show you. There you go. That's why fifteen hundred is. Yeah. So you just play around with that. Make a function out of it. So if you want, if this is your robot arm, you can be like robot arm down, and then you just put that into a function. Yeah. Do whatever you want. That's the server for you. Uh, this one's pretty weak, so there are bigger ones, and yeah, read the spec sheet before you play around with it too much. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Um, if you're doing uh, ECE 3091, say hi to Mike for me, and yeah, see you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye. The servo is waving goodbye.